all right guys i'm back again this is a video i'm making for anybody try to tow their own truck using this rental uh tow bull boom i think that's what it's called so pretty much just going to show you how to connect it so that you can have the right connections but the most important part is this bar right here right so this is what hooks up to your truck and you know you lift it up and what i noticed is every other video has a different way of doing it so this setup is not normally for volvos because as you can see there's supposed to be lights here there's one right there so what i did is i took them out so if you have a volvo or a truck that has lights here behind this bar just take those lights out because it makes it really easy uh to haul when they are not there okay so you know just keep that in mind all right so that's the truck right there and so you bring the bar all the way to this uh rear metal here this bar here is what i'm talking about and so and for your connections the rear tandem as you can see that's how you connect it it goes through the axle here right and then you take that u over there and you hold it to the to the chain as you can see that's where it goes under here between uh between the axle and this here i think yeah that's the brake chamber right here so it goes in between here and then you make a knot over there and then it goes over the frame like that and then it goes under it again like that and then out comes hooks up here and so this chain is really long so if you live it's just gonna hang everywhere so i made a few turns around here like that and then finished up here right so we'll go to the other side same thing is a connection over there you see that goes under the frame see it going under the frame like that comes up and hooks up here okay so that's the most important just make sure this bar is behind the truck and right now when it's lifted it looks like it's higher but before i hooked it up this bar was actually somewhere here right like it was literally under but when you lift it, it lifts it up lifts it up and the reason why i say you want it there is because if you don't do that you see now i got it on the last the last hole up here your truck won't lift high enough see how high my truck is the front axle here just stand up here you need to be able to like put your foot under it at least like 12 feet so you need to lift it up as much as you can and that's why you hook up the bar over there so that's the most important thing i noticed when i was doing this and then from the for the front tandem over here our axle uh, let me go yeah see that so it goes under this axle here like the fast one but this time you take it around the frame all right you see the chain down there you take it around the frame and it comes up here it comes up here and now you hook it up all right and this chain is also long so i made a few turns around it you do the same for the other side you pretty much got it so now the front axle is hanging in the air second axle is hanging in the air you're good to go and then for the last part you know put this to your truck this is what sends a signal to the back you know like brakes indicators all that you go to the front of the truck so you can see what i'm talking about it's here all right so your right your left your brakes all that is here you just move it around the side of the driver's side just like that oh the last thing yes before i forget so for the fairings since you're going against wind you know i took mine off because you're pretty much moving like this against the wind they can come off if you have straps you can tie the straps around but the fairings on this truck were not good so i took them off here they are and then for this one's here 
you can leave them unsecured but just to be safe i secured them so i took two straps you place them here where you climb the truck on this one i went around from that piece of the frame over there and just come back like this over there goes around the tank and hooks up over there and this one hooks up to the frame as you can see and you tighten it up so when you're moving because you also you know there's a lot of wind coming in through here it can easily you know break this off that's not what you want to happen and then the last thing so you do that for both sides the last thing is the uh steering wheel as you can see i use the seat belt all right and then i use the strap to hold it in place because you don't want moving while you're driving so i use the strap to hold it in place like that and this truck is ready to be towed last thing when this truck broke down it had a full tank of diesel so here's the better connection for the diesel pump that's the diesel pump working and it's pumping diesel from this truck which had a full tank and I just made those connections myself this is just a regular water hose and it's pumping diesel into this truck there's the diesel going in okay it's not super fast but it does the job and so now I don't have to buy more diesel going back just using the diesel from that truck and that my friends is how you tow your own truck just remember most important part find a way for this to go under this frame so when you lift it up you have enough clearance over there okay all right guys thank you so much